factoring formulae. The first three of these I write on the board every time I teach college algebra and ask my students to remember them. So I'm asking you to do the same. A plus B all squared equals A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. A minus B all squared equals A squared minus 2AB plus B squared. The difference of two squares, A squared minus B squared equals A plus B times A minus B. A cubed plus B cubed equals A plus B times A squared minus AB plus B squared. And A cubed minus B cubed equals A minus B times A squared plus AB plus B squared. In general, if N is an odd number, 3, 5, 7, 9, etc., then A to the N plus B to the N equals A plus B times A to the N minus 1 minus B times A to the N minus 2 plus B squared a to the n minus 3 minus, etc., etc., plus b to the n minus 1. What I want you to notice here is that the first term is a plus b, and in the second term, the signs alternate plus, minus, plus, minus, until the last term is plus b to the n minus 1. Again, for n being an odd number, a to the n minus b to the n is equal to a minus b times a to the n minus 1 plus b times a to the n minus 2 plus b squared a to the n minus 3 plus etc plus b to the n minus 1. In this case, a to the n minus b to the n. The first term is a minus b, and in the second term, the signs are all plus. Let's now talk about foil, first, outer, inner, last. Foil is used to multiply two factors of the form x plus a times x plus b. You take the first terms, you get x times x equals x squared. You take the outer terms, x times b equals bx. Take the inner terms, a times x. That gives us ax. And you take the last terms, a times b gives us ab. Now, when you put all your like terms together, that gives you x squared plus x times a plus b plus ab. FOIL also works for complex numbers. For example, a plus ib times p minus iq. First term, a times p. Outer term, a times negative iq. That gives us minus iaq. Inner terms, ib times p. That gives us i times b times p. And the last term, plus IB times minus IQ gives us minus I squared B times Q. Now, when I investigate the term minus I squared B times Q, since I squared equals negative 1, that term becomes plus BQ. So when I put my real parts together and my imaginary parts together, I get AP plus BP plus I times BP minus AP. Second example, A plus IB times A minus IB, a complex number times its complex conjugate. If we apply FOIL, the first term gives us A squared. The outer terms give us minus IAB. The inner term gives us plus IAB, and the last term gives us minus I squared B squared. But again, 
I squared equals negative one, so the last term becomes plus B squared. When I take my like terms together, I get A squared plus B squared because the minus IAB and the plus IAB cancel each other out. So the product of a complex number a plus IB times its complex conjugate, A minus IB, equals A squared plus B squared.